Listen po to uh, the word of the Lord that the Lord wants us to hear and to be delivered by uh, one of his faithful servants. Po. So uh, our speaker tonight is uh, one, also one of the long uh, members of uh, BKK Singapore family and a uh, very faithful servant of the Lord. Uh, he used to be uh, one of uh, the ushers of our uh, BKK church uh, here in Singapore. And now uh, he has, the Lord has blessed him uh, with the opportunity and he is now uh, the president of uh, BKK uh, Global Singapore Ministry. So let us welcome po our speaker for tonight, President Julian Ben. Thank you, Paul. Uh, hello, good evening. Okay, uh, is the sound okay? Okay, thank you so much. So um, it's a privilege that once again that uh, I've been assigned to uh, share the goodness of God in this, uh, to, in this uh, word of encouragement. And I pray that uh, everyone will be encouraged. And really that I was, uh, it is, um, I've been, uh, I rejoice because I've been uh, entrusted unto me this uh, topic. Uh, I rejoice in, in the sense that uh, it is wherein uh, I learned more about this, uh, this topic. I, I know that uh, we had been, uh, we had been um, being practicing this uh, for a long time, but uh, as we grow older in the Lord, you know, as we walk day by day with the Lord, we learn more insights. So I, I just praise God because uh, I think was given the opportunity to dig deeper uh, upon this, uh, the knowledge and my, uh, the knowledge of this word. And uh, the, the title of my, uh, what I'm going to share to you is, uh, I will worship you, Lord. Yes, uh, truly it is a powerful declaration of our faith to God. Yes, without faith, it is impossible to please God. God seeks those who worship him in spirit and in truth, right? So um, uh, let, me, um, let me read the word of God. Uh, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. That is in John 4.23. Okay, so the title is, I will worship you, Lord. But uh, let us pray first. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this, uh, for this night wherein, Lord, that uh, my brethren are here with me, gathered in your name. As we thank you, Lord, that uh, uh, truly that, that, that uh, uh, you, have, um, you have made me a, a, bit, a mouthpiece of your, uh, of your word. Just your word, Lord, will be heard this day. Yes, oh God, and uh, we... We open up our hearts of understanding, oh God, that truly, Lord, that uh, you, you want us, Lord, to, to have uh, more knowledge, in-depth knowledge, Lord, about your word, especially with my topic, with the topic, Lord, that you have entrusted me tonight, oh God. We ask this of Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Okay. So, can we not worship God? Uh, that's, uh, let me start with this, uh, with a question. Can we not worship God? We are free to choose because we have this free will. God has given us this free will, right? But when we were born again, we understood that we are truly created to worship God. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. That is in Psalm 139, 13 to 14. And in, uh, let's see what Jesus have said. What Jesus have said, if we remain silent or we refuse to worship God. In Luke 19, 39, verse 40, some of the Pharisees from the crowd said to him, teacher, rebuke your disciples. Or they were they were shouting these uh, messianic praises. They were praising Jesus. Jesus replied, 
I tell you, if these people keep silent, the stones will cry out in praise. So if we refuse to worship God and remain silent, God is still God. He will not be begging us to worship him. Worship him. He has the moon, the stars, the rivers, the rocks, the trees in the field that uh, worship him, that worship him, yes. And there will be always be true worshipers that he can find. And uh, are you one of them? Are we one of them? Yes. Praising God is an act of worship. Uh, it is uh, professing his awesome power. And it is accompanied, accompanied with words of gratitude. God is pleased when we praise him. Uh, so uh, let us take into the account of the 10 lepers. So just now we were, um, we were uh, um, asking if we were, if we have any praises, right? So um, my, sometimes we, we prayed, but we don't, uh, we don't know what happened, right? After sometimes we prayed, we don't know if what happened the following, uh, the following uh, prayer meeting, if uh, the, the prayers have been granted, right? right? So for me, when I prayed that I got this uh, COVID, we prayed for healing. Then uh, it is now my opportunity to return back to glory to God because uh, he had, uh, he, he had uh, healed me. And I praise God that it was uh, mild only. And thank God that um, uh, I'm back uh, working, uh, working to my uh, to my company, and be back to my daily routine. So I praise God for that. And then uh, let's go back to the to this um, to this uh, ten lepers. Let us see what Jesus said. If we don't uh, worship God and remain silent, okay. As Jesus continued. On towards Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered the village, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance. Okay, they, they crying out, "Jesus, Master, have mercy on mercy on us!" He said. So they are aware that Jesus can heal. Jesus have uh, amazing powers, right? So they were at the distance because uh, we know that uh, it is according to the ceremonial law that they have to, to uh, you know, distance us, uh, us to social distance themselves. Okay. So he he looked at them, and he, and he said, "Go show go show yourselves to the priest." And as they went, they were cleansed cleansed of their leprosy. So. While they were proceeding, or preferably they go proceeding to the priest, they uh, slowly that this uh, leprosy was uh, disappearing. Okay, so I was uh, I presume that uh, that uh, underway they were discussing on what to do. Maybe this uh, the Samaritan maybe was asking, uh, uh, why not we go back to the Father uh, to to Jesus and and thank him. So I believe that uh, this, uh, the nine lepers, they continued to go to the, to the priest, okay? So one of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, praise God. He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one the turn to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to men, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Okay, That is in Luke 17, verse 11 to 17. And these lepers were only healed physically. The Samaritan leper was healed physically and spiritually. That's why Jesus said to him, your faith has healed you. Okay. In Jeremiah 17, verse 14, it says, O oh Lord, if you heal me, I will be truly healed. If you save me, I will be truly saved. My praises are for you alone. And uh, 
and why is there a need? Why is there a need to go to the priest if if you are already healed by a high priest, right? And Jesus, the high priest. These are some of the words and scriptures that that these nine lepers should have known. But uh, but sad to say that uh, that uh, that it was the Samaritan who was able to comprehend his words. There are times that we may not be in the mood to worship God. Don't allow ourselves to be in the frosty state. We need to do something. Like, let's command our soul, our soul to worship our Lord God. Right? Let's command our soul. We can do that. Both chapters of Psalm 103 and 104 start with, Bless the Lord, O my soul. You can see that in the verse 1 of both Psalm 103 and 104. And then the following verses wants you to pause, to remember, to meditate the beauty, the splendor, the glory, his mighty power. And despite his awesomeness, he is a merciful and a loving God. And so... You, so we have to meditate that. Remember, uh, in, in, in our case also, we have to remember our personal encounter with God, experiences, how God delivered us, how God had healed us, how, how he, held, he brought us to victory. And that will set our mood to worship God. Okay. We may not also be in the mood to worship, because anxiety, because of anxiety, uh, it over, overwhelms our whole being. Then what should we do? The best thing to do is uh, according to Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7, we have to pray. Why do we have to pray? So that the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts in, and minds through Christ Jesus, right? And we if and truly if we confess that Jesus is our Lord, then we need to trust to him that he will help us carry our load, right? The battle is not ours and it belongs to God. Let us just worship him. Okay. I will worship the Lord through thick and thin. Well, it's easy to say, Lord, I will worship you. But when I'm in, I'm okay. So, so when it is conditional, right? When I'm healthy, when there's enough food on the table, how if you're not, how if your expectations are not met, your prayers are not answered, or said thing if you are you are sick. There was one time. There was one time. Uh, I talked to God and I told him, I told, I told him, Lord, whenever I go, I get up from bed in the morning and before I go to bed uh, to sleep at night, I will kneel down before you. I will worship you. I told, I told this, I told this to our Lord. And without a miss, I continued doing it. And until one day on my way to work, I tripped and fell down and my knee was injured. And the pain was excru excru excruciating yeah, that I could hardly work. And the worst thing is I could barely bend my knees. There are many physical positions in worshiping God, but I chose kneeling down, bowing down, because kneeling or bowing down signifies a posture of humility and submission, both physically and mentally, bodily and in the heart. Now it seemed my injury was preventing me to bow down. But praise to God, though I struggled in pain, I still managed to do my daily routine of bowing before him. Yes, even in sickness and pain, we can still worship God. 
Uh, let us look at the life of, uh, of Job. As a man of integrity, despite his condition, even his very own wife advised him to curse God and die. Job, Job wisely refused to take that route. Instead, he taught us that if we are, if we are to accept both good and bad from the Lord, trusting that his plan is best. With those words, it, it pleased God. Job even voiced his faith. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I will return. The Lord has given, the Lord has taken, bless the Lord's name. So he really he praised God. And, and, when the, and why did he praise God? It was this when his, poss uh, his possessions were taken away, okay? And uh, his uh, sons and daughters uh, uh, got killed. And yet, he said uh, he worshiped God. Our integrity will also be tested. Yes, you and me will be tested. Okay? Are we still going to worship God? Yes, we should. I encourage you, brethren. In sickness and in good health, in scarcity and in abundance, let us worship his holy name. Okay? I will worship you, you alone, O God. In Deuteronomy 6.13, it says that, You shall fear the Lord your God and serve him and shall take oaths in his name. You shall not go after other gods. Okay? So we have to worship God alone. We may not be worshiping those graven images made out of wood or stone. But who or what is sitting in the throne of your heart uh, is, is what you care, what you care about. Be careful if it is not God. Because this we know our God is, our, is a jealous God. Right? Be careful how you think your life is shaped by your thoughts. Okay? And this very moment, let us search our heart who is sitting in our throne of our who is sitting in our in the throne? We alone knew. We alone knew our situation right now. And God may may God convict us, as uh, let us renew our minds, forsaking those idols that hinders us to worship the true God. Let us seek God first. Let us be in God's uh, perspective, seeking and things that please him, pleases him most. He alone deserves to be worshipped. I worship you with my life. And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead you to give your bodies to God because he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice that the kind of, uh, the kind of he will find acceptable. So in other version, it said that uh, uh, if you uh, offer your bodies to God, this is your spiritual worship. So this is the other versions. But don't you realize that your, your body is a temple of God, temple of the Holy Spirit? He who lives in you was given to you by God. You do not belong to yourself. So just be mindful, whatever you do, do it for the glory of God. And if it does not glorify God, just don't do it. Okay. You, we were bought by a price. Uh, we, are, we were bought at a price. Therefore, let us honor God with our bodies. This is what God seeks through a true worshiper. He who worships him in spirit and in truth. Okay, so this is, our, this is what it means by how to worship him in spirit, by offering our bodies uh, to God. And also, uh, in truth, it means that Jesus is the truth. Without Jesus in, in us, our worship to the Father will be worthless. And... As I may I conclude this with uh, my last uh, 
last phrase. I will worship you, Lord, with an excellent spirit. As God made us more capable in everything, we ought to strive the best that we can do. We need to invest in our relationship to God in, a, in an extravagant way, like moving to the next dimension of worship to God. Okay, so oh, we need to we need to uh, we should not be remain stagnant or uh, the way we are. So we have to aim that we can uh, give our best to our God okay, in, in, a, in an extravagant way, moving to the next dimension to God. But we need the Holy Spirit who can empower us and teach us and lead us to an extraordinary and extravagant worship experience. Okay. So uh, let us pray as I end this uh, short message. Thank you, Lord, for uh, this very night. Search our heart, O oh Lord. Forgive us, O oh God, if we neglect yes, our worship, our worshiping you. Yes, Lord, we for the whole day, Lord, we were being uh, overwhelmed uh, with so many activities. Yes, we pray, O oh Lord, that um, to change our mind, Lord, that uh, you will be our priority, O oh God. Yes, and we will not be content, Lord, with the way we worship you. We want to excel, O oh God. For and we know that uh, you worship the true and um, amazing God. For you really deserve to be worshipped alone, O oh Lord. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good evening, uh, kapatid. Amen. Praise God. So thank you po, uh, Tito Julian, for a wonderful message. Indeed po, uh, God is worthy to be praised. And I'm just going to share my screen po to share the notes that I have uh, noted down. So here po. So there are three things that I've noted down. So command our soul to worship God. Worship God all the time unconditionally. So no matter what's our condition in life, whether we are in joy or in challenges or in pain, God is still God. So we still worship God all the time and in spirit and in truth. It's very important po. And lastly po, worship our Lord God alone or only for God is worthy to be worshipped. Amen. Praise God. And thank you po again, uh, Tito Julian, for sharing that. How about you po, Brother JL? So what's your take down notes po? Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, I would also like to thank you, uh, uh, President Julian, for sharing with us a wonderful reminder for us to always worship the Lord because uh, He is worthy to be worshipped. So it is true for that what you shared with us, that we must worship the Lord uh, no matter what you take in our team, no matter when we are blessed or no matter if we're being tested. We must always worship the Lord. And uh, we must worship the Lord with our life. Everything that we do in our life must be one that gives glory to our Lord. And that we must also worship in Him with excellence. Whenever we worship the Lord, we must always give our best. And uh, even though we may not feel like doing so, we must make ourselves uh, give our best when we worship the Lord. Because... Our Lord is the only one worthy to be praised and worshipped. So thank you po, for the wonderful reminder for us uh, on uh, our relationship with our Father in heaven. Po. And I, we are all blessed and I hope that you'll also be blessed. Po. So anyone else would like to share your uh, uh, insights? Po? Okay, po. so thank you, po. Uh, if there's nothing else, po, then let us move on to our prayer requests. So those who'd like to share your prayer requests, please go ahead and voice them out. 
and we will pray for you. Uh, we will pray together later on. And uh, you can also type your prayer request inside the chat. And also, if you, if you still have any more praises, you can also share it. Thank you, bro.